Hi, my name is Brian with Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio, and welcome back to another quality video from appliancevideo.com. For this repair, we will need uh, electrical tape, two wire nuts, a flat blade screwdriver, a Torx bit or a Torx screwdriver, and a pair of wire cutters. All right, here we have an Admiral refrigerator, and the complaint is uh, that it's losing its temperature, it's not cooling down. Uh, refrigerator was not cold at all, and the freezer was cold but not freezing. Um, upon initial inspection of this, we can see uh, that the both fan motors are running, our evaporator fan, our condenser fan motor, um, and our compressor is running also. Uh, the unit was off when we got here, um, so it's going to be a little harder to diagnose, but with both fans and compressor uh, running, uh, we also got um, some information that had some frost build up before they turned it off completely, so it looks like we uh, have either a defrost issue or we're low on freon. Alright, so um, we're going to open up uh, the evaporator section. So we can check our, check our frost pattern and uh, possibly check our defrost heater and termination. Uh, the first thing we're going to uh, do is take this bottom panel out. On this refrigerator, our evaporator is going to be on the bottom underneath this panel, so it's in between the uh, freezer floor and refrigerator ceiling. Uh, to help us get this panel out, I removed the uh, two screws of our divider here. Um, there are two Torx. Uh, Torx head screws. So I remove those out and um, next we'll just slide our freezer panel out here and then we can take our styrofoam cover off the top there of our evaporator. Alright now we can um, we'll also take off our metal uh, divider on top of the evaporator. Okay, now we can see our evaporator. We're starting to frost up. I've only had this running for about 10 minutes, um, so it may take a while for the rest of it to frost up, uh, but it is uh, frosting up this far. Um, if we're low on Freon, what will happen is where the Freon comes in, where it's first starting to frost up, um, we could get a big ball of ice, um, or um, the Freon level, or the frost pattern will stop. Um, part way through the evaporator. So this should get nice and frosted up after it's ran for a good 20-30 minutes with the door closed and everything. And if it doesn't, um, or if this has already been up and running, if we were to open it and notice um, that only it's partially frosted up, that would mean that it's low on Freon. We'd have to find the leak, fix the leak, and replace the Freon in it. Um, while we're waiting for this, what we can do is um, I'm going to check our defrost uh, heater and our defrost termination while we're here uh, with our electrical meter. So what we need to do is, I can see our termination down here, um, I'm going to trace back the wires that go from it, it's going to be our two red wires here. And we have an electrical connection here that goes um, from our termination uh, to our defrost heater. Right, so the first thing I'm going to check is our defrost termination, and I'm going to pull it out here. Um, what it does is it sits on the evaporator and it's like a thermostat it's going to read the temperature if um, it's a safety device to where if the heater were ever to stick open stick on and heat for too long it cuts off at a certain temperature where it would cut off power uh, to the heater and it is resettable um, in this case what i see on the termination the blue lid uh, has came uh, detached from the base of the uh, termination or the lid is popped off of it. Um, it should be uh, flush and smooth, tight down to the cap here. Um, if I rotate it, you can see the back of it where the wires come into it. It should be nice and flush like that. And um, it's not in the front, so um, it's, it's separated the contacts inside of there. And it's going to mean that we have a bad uh, termination. Now we're going to test this with our meter just to be sure, but this is usually a dead giveaway of a bad termination. Uh, so we're going to disconnect the termination. Uh, we're going to disconnect the termination. Uh, there's two wire connectors that uh, plug in for the termination. Uh, we're going to unplug that one and the other side of it here. So this is all of our, our termination wiring, just the two sides. So we're going to take our meter, uh, put it on a uh, ohms 
uh, audible setting and go from one terminal to the other and we should be hearing a tone right now um, like that from side to side um, that this is you know from one end to the other through the termination we have no continuity so we have a bad uh, defrost termination or defrost thermostat all right, so we have um, our new defrost termination that we're going to install. And what we want to do is, in this case, um, we have one that doesn't have the correct terminals on the end. So we're going to need to cut and cut and wire nut the wires together to have the appropriate terminals so we can plug it back in. So we're going to take our old termination. And we're just going to give ourselves a good length on there so we have uh, plenty, of, plenty of room to plug them back in. And we're just going to cut it off here. So now we have our ends um, with the two terminals from the old termination. Um, we're going to wire nut those onto the new wires of our new termination. And strip our wires back. About a quarter inch or so, quarter to half inch back. Let me strip them. So the same length as what's already stripped on the uh, new termination. And we're gonna take some wire nuts. Wire nut one to each side. No, I just put a little bit on top. Yeah. And then also we're going to wrap our new connections with electrical tape so no moisture gets inside. And now we're ready to reinstall our termination. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, plug our wires in first. And the new termination, you'll have to have a new clip for it to clip it onto uh, your evaporator. I'm going to put it back where we got it out of. Uh, now now we're, we can tuck our wires back into place. Now that we have our termination mounted with the clip. Now that the wires are back, we'll be able to replace our uh, evaporator covers and our freezer floor. First, we have uh, this metal uh, cover that goes down first. Basically, that just protects when the heater turns on. It's going to protect any heat from uh, coming up to our next cover and doing any damage to it. Next uh, cover is this insulation, styrofoam insulation piece. Slide in place. And next is going to be our plastic freezer floor. It's going to lock into the uh, housing in the back, into the groove. And the front two sides are going to snap behind the, uh, um, the frame of the refrigerator. Next, we can put our uh, divider back in place and the two screws on the left side are two torque screws. Uh, that completes our repair on the Admiral refrigerator defrost termination. Uh, we're just going to finish putting our shelf back in and turn it back on and it's going to take a few hours for it to cool back down. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.